Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me today for another Inspiration Friday. So this Inspiration Friday is a call out or a throw out to one of my subscribers, Debbie. Now you gave me a week, I really appreciate it, but Debbie liked my reversible um, gator that I made, but she said, Hey Lisa, I'd love to make one for um, kids, but I'm thinking ear loops might really help um, with them. And so guess what? I finally figured out how to do it. Took about three or four test runs, but I now have a gator that has got ear loops. And I'm gonna show you how to make them today. But before we do that, if you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by and make sure you click on um, the subscribe button and the little bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. I like to do it every Friday. We call it Inspiration Friday. And a huge shout out and a thank you to all my subscribers. We hit 1000 subscribers this week and I'm so excited. So please keep all the good comments coming and if you'd like me to um, come up with some other type of idea like Debbie had for me to do the looped gaiters, I would love to hear from you guys. So give me a second and I'll join you on my craft table and we will get making this cute gaiter with ear loops. Okay, so let's get started on this gaiter that is going to have ear loops. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start out with um, the exact same size that we started out with the regular gator. Now I'm gonna do a, a medium. So I'm starting out with 18 by 18. I did use my rotary blade and I've already cut this, but I use my rotary blade and my ruler and we're gonna use the ruler again. Um, you definitely wanna have a few clips available. You definitely have to have some type of marking um, pen um, that you wanna use, you could use chalk. I found these really cute um, heat erasable um, fabric pens. I'll put a link down below. Um, they work really nice. So what I started out with is just like we did in the first gator is I have got one panel of 18 by 18. Now I've had lots of questions on the gators lately. Um, really important that your stretch goes this way. Okay, now I so happen to have a material that stretch goes both ways, so it's a two-way stretch. But the most important stretch is gonna be your, um, your length, the part that goes around your um, head. So really important. Now, the other piece of it is too much stretch is not good, and so one thing you guys might wanna do is fold your fabric in half, okay? Because this is the part that's gonna go around your head, right? And so you could actually measure it, if you're making it for yourself, take it and just kind of hold it around your head and see if that big of a, um, a hole is going to work for you. Might be able to customize it. Or maybe take a tape measure and, and go around yourself, but just a couple ideas of what we can do. So the other piece that we're gonna need for this project is I'm gonna use and I'm gonna make the ear loops out of the same fabric. So no elastic here. So what I did is I went ahead and cut a piece of the exact same fabric, 14 inches long and um, two inches wide, okay? So we're actually going to, um, I'm gonna fold those in half. I'm gonna surge down here and we are gonna turn it right sides out, cut it in half, and those are gonna be my ear loops, okay? But before we can get to that, we've got to see how these ear loops are gonna work. So what you guys need to do is fold your fabric in half, just like we did when we did the first um, gaiters. And I keep talking about the first gaiters, you guys, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll loop, loop, uh, link it down below. But what we need to do is Fold it in half, okay? Now what we wanna do is we wanna find the middle of the gator, okay, the front middle. So eventually this is gonna be your back of your gator and this is gonna be your front. So what we wanna to do to be able to do the loops is we are going to measure out here and we're gonna measure out um, four inches, okay? And then we are going to drop down by two inches, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, 
just follow me here, you guys. I've taken my gator, I folded it in half, and then I folded it in half again, okay? I'm gonna take my ruler, and I'm gonna see that four inches is right here, okay? And my two inch mark is right here, okay? So I'm gonna mark my two inch mark, right? I'm gonna mark my four inch mark, and we're gonna make a line. Okay, so that is where my line's gonna be. So this is the part that's gonna wrap around your face, okay? And then we're gonna make room that we can put our loops in um, to go to the back, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, if you're using scissors, this is where you would cut it. I am just gonna take my handy dandy rotary, and I notice that I'm a little off line here, so I'm just gonna bring this, because I want this to be exact, okay? And so I've got my four inch mark and I've got my two inch mark there and I am lined up there and I am just going to cut. Okay, so now what we have is we have got our fabric cut just like that. Okay, so we still have the stretch going the right way. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to take our piece that we're gonna make into the straps and I'm gonna take it over to the serger, putting my right sides together, okay? I am going to serge down. Now you can do use your sewing machine also. I'm going to serge down this and close it off, making it a tube, and then we'll turn it around and we'll put our ear loops in place. So give me just a second. Okay, so I've done, taken my serger um, across that, and so now we want to turn this um, right sides out. And so I just grabbed a safety pin that is not in the best of shape. And we're just going to turn this right sides out. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our um, ties in place or our loops in place, and then we are going to basically sew this um, gaiter the same way that we did the other gaiters. The only difference is this slight change we made so that we could have loops. So what I'm gonna do now is I have got this, I'm just going to fold it in half, take my scissors, I could have used my rotary cutter, and I'm gonna clip it, okay? So now this is another thing that you guys could play with the size that you want to do, okay? Um, but what we're gonna do now is we have got the center, right? And this is where my clips come in. I am going to, we're going to open up our mask, okay? And we, I like to line it up on my grid. I love my Cricut mat here. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to face my seam up and I'm gonna put it right about a fourth of an inch away from the edge, okay? And then I'm gonna come back two inches and you want your um, loop to come over just a little bit because you wanna catch that in your seam, okay? And we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other one. Okay, seam's gonna be up. And we're gonna go about two inches. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this back over. Okay. And then you can go ahead and clip it again. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over to my serger. Okay. And we are going to serge down this angle so I'm gonna be attaching in my ear loops there, and I'm going to serge directly across this, okay? So when I come back, we will turn this right sides out, and then we will do our last seam. So right now, I'm using my serger. If you guys are using 
a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine, you're gonna start and finish with a back stitch. You're gonna sew, zigzag or serge here, sew or, or serge or zigzag stitch here, and same with right here. Do not sew right here yet, okay? Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back from the um, sewing machine or the serger, and I just flipped my right sides out just so you guys could see what this looks like so far. So you can see these are gonna be the loops for our gator. Little ears it looks like we've got, okay? So what we wanna do now is we are going to match up the ends um, and I told you before I was gonna do that when I came back, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew down this length and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and let's go ahead and turn it out and take a look at our gator so far. Okay, we've got our little ear loops there. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is let's go ahead and put your arm through and we're gonna match up our seams and we're gonna put that last stitch to Put your gator all the way together. Now I like to match up my seams here, okay? And then remember, we want to sew over those seams and we want to leave a small opening so that we can turn this right side out. We are just about done with this project. Okay, I'm back. And now let is, let's see what our gator looks like. Pull it all out. We've got that little opening we're gonna have to take care of. But there we are. Cascades a little bit down in the back for us. We're gonna put that, close that seam out. But otherwise, here is your gator all made with your ear loops. It'd be really easy to keep up. And when you're not wearing it, you can tuck them under and it's cute as can be. Now this is gonna be great for kids and adults both ways so there you go all I need to do is go and close off that seam now since this seam is going to be um on the it could be the inside or the outside because I could have turned this this way right which I would recommend that you do is close off your seam um, on the inside but either way you can take this and go over to the sewing machine and you can do a zigzag stitch across there. I don't recommend using the serger because it wouldn't be a clean finish, or you can just whip stitch it um, with a needle and thread. But either way, you are done, and I can't wait to show this to you on. So let me know what you think. I really appreciate um, my subscribers reaching out and asking for a tutorial on this. It was really fun to figure out how to make one. Thanks for joining me. And here's what our finished product looked like. I'm so glad you joined me for another Inspiration Friday. Please keep in mind, these gators will not protect you from COVID. What they will do is add an extra layer between you and the outside world. Thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for many more tutorials.